Good morning, everyone. So this morning, I woke up and it was 7.30 and I totally overslept. If I wake up any later than literally 7 o'clock, I already know that I'm gonna be late. So I decided to take my time and to just kind of chill. And unfortunately, because I woke up late, I didn't get the chance to do the little notes, but I'm gonna do those in class today. Um, because you know, I'm a great student. <laughs> But yeah, so instead I thought, how fun would it be if I gave myself a little like Christmas challenge to do this morning? And today's Christmas challenge was to make oatmeal, but I put a little bit of hot chocolate in it, and so it's like chocolatey flavored. But yeah, so that was today's like Christmas challenge, and I did it. I actually thought of the idea yesterday when I was making hot chocolate, and I was making oatmeal, and I was like, why not just mix them? And let me tell you, this is a good idea. All right, breakfast is done, and now it's time to go and get ready for the day. All right. Let's go get ready. And this is the look for today. It's a little vintage. This is kind of the vibe I want to go for for today. Right now, I actually am supposed to be in school. It's 11 o'clock. I decided, you know what? We're going to use today to get a little bit of editing done because I am falling way behind. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. And after that, I'm going to have to go to work, actually. And then afterwards, I'm going to go to church. And yeah, I'll update you guys on the situation. <laughs> So I'm heading to work now, and obviously I can't film at work, so the plan is that I'm going to show you guys some clips of me at church. Hey guys, so today's actually the 8th, that's why I look completely different, but um, I thought that I would show you guys how I made my chocolate oatmeal because as you guys noticed, I said two seconds ago that I was going to bring you guys to church with me, and I didn't because I was filming at church that day. And um, yeah, so if you guys want to see the footage that I took, actually, our church has a YouTube channel and I can link it at the bottom and you can go watch the video for uh, December 6th. Okay, so basically I thought I would show you guys the chocolate oatmeal that I made on the 6th that morning that I was showing you guys and I was like, ooh, so yummy, I'm going to show you guys how to make it. Well, today's the day, folks. So the first thing you're going to need is some oatmeal. I like to put about 150 milliliters. You're just going to put that into your pot. <laughs> okay, you're going to put that into your pot. This is my pot. Wee! Ta da! Alright, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is fill this up with about a hundred, about a hundred milliliters of water. I'm just gonna use some tap water because, you know, broke people things. And the next thing you're gonna need is some soy milk. I'm just gonna use this one. This is actually my roommate's soy milk, so thanks, Jado. Okay, then you're gonna put about a hundred, I'm gonna do like a bit, 150, a little bit more. Maybe not 150, but like 125. Yeah, 125 milliliters of milk. Also, if you guys were curious, these are the oats that I use. It's just Quaker oats. They sell them at Kaldi in Japan. The last and most important thing you're gonna need is this lovely hot chocolate. You can use pretty much any hot chocolate that you'd like, but it has to be powder form for this to work. And then I also like to top it off with some uh, cookie crunch pieces, which I also got from Kaldi. So. Yeah, you can also add that. On the 6th, I was supposed to eat this candy cane that I got from one of the students that I teach. I'm going to be adding that. Anyways, you're going to want to turn on the heat, like I just did. And now I'm going to show you guys from the kitchen perspective because, you know, you guys need to see me cook it. Alright, so I don't know if you guys can see this. It's a bit dark, but we've got it on the stove here. Fun times are happening. You're going to want to mix it. And then eventually you're going to want to add in your hot chocolate. I just eyeball it. I don't really measure anything. Put that much should be enough. Actually, maybe I'll put a bit more. Yeah, that's, that's, that's good. That's plenty. Let's put a little bit of salt. We're gonna put one pack of sugar because I like it to be extra sweet. your cookie crumbs and then we're gonna top it off with a little candy cane and voila there we go so I'm about to eat it it is absolutely delicious looking and yeah all right let's dig in last time I made this I made it way too hot and I got really excited and I ate it and I burnt my tongue I'm trying to eat it slowly this time <laughs> it's so good if you guys actually give this a try let me know what you think and also, if you guys are wondering where I got all this stuff, then you should definitely go check out the next video for day seven, where I take you guys through some shopping with me. So yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye! So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. Make sure to subscribe and join the Hazina fam, because it's always a party. Yay! Hey. And 
and um, yeah, it's always a party, right? <laughs>